Right, so we've some big things to discuss today with Archer Aviation. So we've got that Andrel and the UAE Edge with the Omen drone and Archer supplying the powertrain for it. We then have also the Dubai Air Show and we'll give a few updates on what's happening there. And then, yeah, we've got another deal today with Red Sea Resort and the helicopter company and how Archer are going to help with the sandbox there. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So jumping across to that Andrel um, deal that's occurred. So Archer will be supplying the powertrain for the Omen drone. Now look, this is an unmanned drone. Look guys, I need to uh, hold my hands up here. I will always hold my hands up when I'm wrong about something. Look, I'm never going to be right 100% of the time. And look, one of the guys that watch our channel all the time, but I got holding, did say that Look, he could see Andrew producing um, small drones with Archer Aviation. And me and Reese shut him down um, very quickly there. Now, look, guys. It's not a small drone. So, look, I do hold my hands up. Bag of holding. It is a drone they're making. But no, it's not small. It's around 10 feet tall in vertical configuration. So, it does stand up vertically. Um, with the two propellers on the back and there's no real specifications but looking at it if it's 10 tall um, the wingspan does look to be around 20 to 22 as long so really we can think it's going to look a bit like the Cavra X7 apart from there's no fan docks um, when it's in horizontal flight so yeah with that the UAE have ordered 50 of these drones but look it's going to scale out and it really shows you that archer are starting to get out to licensing um the technology so it's not all about building midnight but also licensing the technology and look i've had some really really silly comments on my ex lately we had one guy say why don't they just buy the full midnight technology if they're that good well if they bought the full Midnight technology, they're just buying the Midnight. And they have the Omen drone. So why would they buy the Midnight technology? Yes, they're using the full powertrain. Um, that supplies the Midnight. And it will be quite exciting. Um, it probably won't be as heavy as the Midnight. So, look, you could maybe expect faster speeds than 150 mile an hour. But it will be extremely quiet so it's really good for like stealth operations reconnaissance and stuff i think it's a class free drone if i remember so they can lift anything from 45 pounds all the way up i can't even remember i'd be lying to you um right now but uh i will do a bit of research on that then jumping across to the dubai air show so yes we have joby flying at the dubai air show and um, Archer are speaking, so we have Nikhil ready to speak at time of recording now. And I'm quite excited to see what's happening there. Um, we did see that whole um, Red Sea Resort and the helicopter company um, select them as a partner. Now, to be completely transparent, they've selected Joby too. So both companies are going in there. But I need to discuss something that's really, really starting to annoy me. I had guys on X comment that Archer failed to deliver again. They failed to fly at the Dubai Air Show. And why aren't we seeing Archer at the Dubai Air Show? Let me be honest with you. I've seen Archer fly in CTOL configuration at Selena's Air Show. I'm happy enough that they can fly in CTOL configuration. We know they cannot vertically take off and land and transition with a pilot on board. So... I wouldn't expect them to do that transition at the Dubai Air Show. And therefore, I would not expect to see them flying at the Dubai Air Show because I would be much more happy if they leave the midnight for testing for the vertical takeoff and landing and make any adaptations they need to do. I think it would be worse if we're showing off constantly um, the aircraft flying in sea tile configuration because it shows... Um, we're not that interested in vertical takeoff and landing. So look, Archer do know what they're doing there. Had another comment say, um, Archer can't evade all. And it's like, 
why why do you even bother like why do you even bother you don't even know what you're talking about um so if they can't electrically vertically take off and land yes they can my guy um they've proven they can electric vertically take off and land they just can't do it with a pilot on board and that's what they're doing so you want to see them flying at the dubai air show but yet you want them to electrically vertically take off and land they've said they're in that envelope they've completed the non-piloted VTOL and transition they've completed the CTOL with a pilot on board and they said always um this quarter going into next quarter is going to be the electric vertical takeoff and land with a pilot on board full transition and that's all she wrote but i do have so much ammunition on all these guys that are saying archer will never VTOL, archer is a scam archer is um just renderings guys trust me when it happens not if it happens when it happens because we know they're going for it adam is very confident in his interviews so yeah i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna call loads of you out i'm gonna repost it i'm gonna make videos about you so just be careful what you're posting um adam did once again i've been calling for this over the past few months that adam seems to have changed the approach with midnight um it feels like we're no longer operating midnight it's going to be selling the aircraft and adam's doubled down in his recent interview with katie perry that um their business model is selling the midnight which look i think is a great approach if joe would be complete their um operation approach while manufacturing i think that is an extremely good business model but look what archer and i going for is tried and trusted you don't see any automotive companies by tesla trying to enter that sector at the moment uh both manufacturing and operating a taxi service so it will be interesting midnight will be selling for around five million dollars look with inflation that could go up look a lot of guys jumping on me again on x saying that by the time midnight comes out i haven't taken the cost of materials into consideration but yeah but then the price price for inflation will go up that is same with joby um once materials go up you'll see the cost of 1.3 million for an s4 go up so look swings and roundabouts um i have made a few deep dive posts comparing the two business models both um archer producing 50 midnight per year and then selling them and look a ballpark figure you're making around 100 million profit on that with joe being the first year if they produce and then just operate i think it was around 16.5 million but then going into year two joe B does have a bit of an edge there they'd have 100 aircraft in operation and they'd make around 99.5 million so it'd be the same as archer's um selling rate and then as joby does scale up and operate in the aircraft um they constantly have assets so joby's business model is quite nice but it will be a little bit slower where archer if they're selling the midnight as they start upscaling and manufacturing as long as the demand remains high um the world's your eyes though they can just keep producing the more profit they make on these midnight and go back into manufacturing they'll make more manufacturing facilities and yeah it's all stars and rainbows but when the demand dies down that's where it will start um getting a little bit wobbly but look we're nowhere near that stage at the moment i'm talking 20 30 years time and look the whole world is a completely different place then but yeah guys if you want to hear more about beta technologies and their whole cargo missions make sure to check out this video next